Good afternoon, buenas tardes. Welcome, everyone. Good afternoon. We are back. We are back. This is the quarantine concert series. I'm your host, Kabir Segal, and to answer your question that you might be thinking, no, I do not have a life, this concert series is my life right now. It's a religion. So this is concert number 44. 44. I can't even count that high in Spanish, but I'm learning. Maybe our guest tonight will teach me. Um, so what are we doing by now? You know, every night, every day. We're here at 10 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Also matinee showings on Saturdays and Sundays. Just as the sun goes up and sun rises and sun sets, you can count on the show. You can count on your taxes. Count on it. We're bringing you the music every single day. All right, so what are we doing? You know by now we're into an international pandemic. The prescribed you know, mandate is to stay at home. Physical distancing, not social distancing. We can still be social. All the gigs have gone away. It's really kind of a, a sad situation. Um, all the gigs have gone away. One estimate says uh, $8.9, $9 billion loss to live concerts because I've seen some indications that, that concerts are canceled into 2021. And uh, it's tough out there for artists, you know. Um, you know, it's hard to make money on streaming. Um, it's hard to, hard to sell CDs. So most artists, a lot of independent artists, make their income through touring. And it's hard to, as we know, hard to go out there and see shows right now. So we started this broadcast in earnest to put the spotlight back on the people who deserve it, the artists, because they're with us throughout the year, uh, giving us their hearts and their minds and their bodies and sharing their incredible music and artistry with us. I think it's time we're there for them in a time of need. And it's, not, of course, not just the artists. It's everyone uh, connected to live events. So it's the managers and the bookers and the promoters and the engineers and the producers. There's a whole ecosystem of people involved in the music scene, in the creative economy, and... Uh, you know, we have to make sure we're, we're supporting them in this time. So if you know an artist, if you know someone in the creative community, reach out to them, you know, sub subscribe to them on, on all the streaming platforms, on Spotify and Apple Music, buy their music, you know, go on Patreon. Um, you can be a patron. This is a time to be patrons of artists too, you know, and support artists and support their artistry and development. So um, that's what the show is about. You can count on us again every, every day. I want to uh, share with you what we can be doing um, – and how you can find us. You can find us all over the internet. This broadcast is on the Facebook. Yes, we're on the Facebook. We're also on the Twitter. You can find us tweeting this out every single day. We're also on the very delicious, sumptuous, just wonderfully delicious Instagram cracker. It goes nice with marshmallows. You can make a s'more out of it. Right now, I'm floating through the universe on Instagram. You can see this nice effect. And uh, also, we're on LinkedIn. A lot of people have lost their jobs, so I'm sorry if you lost your job. Heart goes out to you. If you're on LinkedIn searching for a job right now, I'm sorry we have interrupted your broadcast, but be in the moment with us. You'll enjoy the music, and maybe we can lift your spirits so that when you get back to your job search, you'll be motivated and inspired and singing another tune maybe. All right. Also on the YouTube, so you can subscribe, get notified, and be in the know. One of the first to know about what's going on and who's coming on the broadcast. All right. So if you're an artist who wants to be on the show, very easy to um, let me know. Just hit me up on Facebook or Instagram Messenger, um, and I will. I try to read all of them. There's a bit of a waiting list, but a few dozen artists on the waiting list. Um, so we appreciate your patience as we sort of move through this as thoughtfully and as carefully as possible. Um, also been very heartened with the response. Um, you know, as I mentioned, we just surpassed 40 shows and we've had, we we're averaging 40, 50,000 views per episode with 1.5 million views in the aggregate. So we've really been blown away by the support and all the love we've been getting. And we thank all of our distribution partners for helping to distribute this, this uh, music and series throughout the internets and the world. All right, so those are the public service announcements. Um, thanks for watching. Now for the best part of the show, the part you get to meet the wonderful artist. You know, 
what's great about what we're trying to do, uh, the feedback I've been getting is sort of the variety of artists that are coming on the show. And I got to tell you, when I learned about this artist, I was uh, blown away. I listened to his music, listened to his albums online, and he has such a magnificent voice. Um, it's uh, otherworldly. You'll, there's a depth to his voice and emotional poignancy that will, I think will awaken you and it will help you move throughout your day because I think this will be uh, this show will have a lasting impact on you because uh, very, very um, infrequently I come across a singer like this. So I want you to welcome to the broadcast an accomplished singer, songwriter from Mexico, Monterrey, Mexico. Say hola to my friend Bruno Sangar. Hola. Hola, Kabir. Hi, how are you? How is everybody doing with this quarantine? We're ready to sing and to share our voice and our love, our heart to everybody, to the world, actually, uh, because this is the time to sing to create, it's the time to, um, to support each other, to be together, uh, because this is, this is not going to last forever. This is going to pass and uh, we are gonna, we're going we're gonna to be fine. So, um, so the things that we have, the artist, uh, it's just to lift, how, we, how you say, to lift our souls up. To, and, uh, and just to, to heal the world with our, with our music, with our voice. And I want to thank you, Kavir, for this invitation because this is my first online concert ever in my life. Actually, I have to say, you know. So we are... Uh, Numero uno. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I love your energy and, and your vibe, your whole aesthetic. Um, tell me, um, how has the quarantine, how has the pandemic affected what you were going to do where would you have been where were you going to go that you, that you had to cancel and now yes you're... well i i had a concert in uh, la uh, the march 22nd and uh, i had everything you know like with the uh, latin latinos unidos uh, association and uh, it was an invitation that i had for his, uh, for its anniversary and uh, i was in mexico city so i um First, it was put, postponed, you know, for a week, and then uh, everything just like getting worse and worse and worse until uh, uh, it's postponed. Of course, it's not canceled, but uh, it's uh, it has like a certain uncertainty, you know, because uh, we never know when that's gonna happen, you know. Uh, and I had uh, I needed to shoot um, uh, a short movie in Mexico City too, and uh, and it was canceled because. There are no festivals around the world, and uh, so there's no point. And besides, you know, like in Mexico City and the entire country, it's uh, it's locked down, so there's there's no schools, you know. So, and uh, and I have here in Monterey uh, six performances of a show, uh, school theater, that I needed to um, to finish, you know, with the with the with the season, and uh, we had just two days, you know, to close the season and to finished that and uh, and we couldn't make it because that was one Tuesday and the lockdown was uh, Sunday. So by the next day, uh, the schools just were just shut down. So uh, I have six performance, you know, like uh, of that show, which is a, it's a school theater for the entire um, uh, education, um, how do you say, um, community here in, uh, in the city. It's a, it's a federal... Uh, program of uh, theater education so but you know like um, so I decided to come back you know to my city Monterey where I was born uh, from the capital from Mexico City to, to stay with my parents you know during this uh, lockdown because uh, I was there by myself and my parents were here by themselves so uh, so I decided to be with them uh, you know like just to be together, you know, to support each other. And uh, yeah. so what I'm doing right now is just working in my social media and, uh, and you know, things that I, that I needed just to, to attend, you know, like uh, with work, you know, homework, you know, uh, music and I'm composing and things that I'm, you know, that I, that I needed to do, of course. Uh, it wasn't the plan, but, uh, but it was not the plan, you know, like in... March or April, you know, right, but well, right. it's okay. 
And actually, my birthday is in 27th. Uh, Feliz Caplanios. So thank you. So uh, I think that I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. do like a like an online birth birthday. Because <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, I want everyone to know what you were telling me in the sound check. Um, you know, yo aprendo español ahora con uh, Duolingo, and uh, tú me enseñas español. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama 44 en on, on, on español? 44. So we're 40 y 4. Sounds sí. like quarantine. Yes, yeah. Uh, it's like we are in quarantine, and this is the concert four four. So it's sure, like forty four. That's a sign, you know. Sí. The four, the four is just following us, so it's good. <laughs> All right. What would you like to begin your performance with, Maestro? Well, with the single of uh, this album that I just uh, that I released the last year, but uh, but this year I'm sending everything to the Latin Grammys. It's a beautiful album. It's a tribute to fourteen. Mexican composers. It's called Mexico al Mundo, and the single, it's uh, it's 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 a it's a mash of two songs, very emblematic in the Mexican uh, repertoire, which is uh, Paloma Negra and Cucurú Cucú Paloma. You know, both are like doves, Paloma. You know, and uh, but these two songs are very very emblematic in our Mexican folkloric repertoire. That's the first song. There you go. Vamos. <clears throat> ya me canso de llorar y no amanecer. Ya no sé Si mal decirte o por ti rezar. Tengo miedo de buscarte y de encontrarte. Donde aseguran mis amigos que te vas. Hay momentos En que quisiera mejor rajarme y arrancarme ya los clavos de mi penar, pero mis ojos se mueren sin mirar tus ojos y mi cariño. Con la aurora te vuelve a esperar. Ya agarraste por tu cuenta las parrandas. Paloma negra, paloma negra, ¿dónde andarás? Ya no juegue. Con mi honra parrandera, si tus caricias deben ser mías, de nadie más. Y aunque te amo con locura, ya no vuelvas, paloma negra. Eres la reja de un penar. Quiero ser libre, vivir mi vida con quien me quiera. Dios dame fuerzas, que estoy muriendo por irla a buscar. Ay. Esta fue Paloma Negra. Y ahora sigue Cucurrucucu Paloma. Yeah. Dicen que por las noches no más se eleva en puro llorar. 
Dicen que no dormía, no más se eleva en puro tomar. Juran que el mismo cielo se estremecía al oír su llanto. Cómo sufrió por ella que hasta en su muerte la fue llamando. Cucurro, cucú. Cantaba. Cucurru cucú reía. Ay, 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 ay. Y lloraba de pasión mortal. Moría. Que una paloma blanca muy de mañana le iba a cantar a su casita sola con sus puertitas de par en par. Cuentan que esa paloma no es otra cosa más que su alma que todavía la espera a que regrese la desdichada. Cucurro, cucú, paloma. Cucurro, cucú, no llores. Las piedras jamás, paloma. ¿Qué van a saber de amores? Ay, 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 cantaba. Ay, 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 reía. Paloma, ya no le llores. Eso. There you go. <laughs> awesome. Uh, awesome. Thank you. Thank that was you. Awesome. Very folkloric. <laughs> the audience. <laughs> the arena. <laughs> Very folkloric, Kabir. I know, yes, we did it. We quarantined, but we did it. <laughs> muy bien, muy bien. Excelente. 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 <laughs> wow, muy elegante. Thank you, thank you. I love this. I love these songs, and I love the audience. Bravo! I love the cheering. Thank you. Bravo! Thank you. Thank you, world. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my God! Gracias no! Al mundo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, los pantalones. Stay sí, claro. Es que in quarantine. It's half. Aha. Uh -huh. It's marinero. Is marinero? Yes. Eres it's, marinero. It's a pijama. It's a pijama. No soy marinero. Soy el capitán. <laughs> <laughs> we have half concert and half quarantine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have uh, I have my quarantine like socks on right now. There you go. Like there you red. go. We need to be comfortable. Elegantes. You know. Yeah. <laughs> we have like six weeks to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> um, brilliant, brilliant. Now tell me, <clears throat> what was the process like? Let's put the album back on the screen. What was the process putting like, putting that together from the songwriting? to the recording, uh, how involved was it? Describe to me what it was like putting it together. Well, actually, everything began with the concert that I did like uh, two years ago, actually, almost two years ago. And there was a concert in September that I did a, a, at, the, at a casino here in Monterrey. And, um, and I had another album, which is a musical theater album. And uh, when I did this concert, it was very successful. The, the, the people loved the, this repertoire. I never sang like 
uh, in a concert, like m Mexican music before. All, uh, all the time it was like musical theater all my life. And, uh, and I loved, you know, I loved the concert. I loved the vibe of the people. And it was a great indicator for me just to, uh, just to put this in an album, you know. Uh, it was really hard to decide which songs uh, I, I, I wanted to put in this album because there are, we have a lot of Mexican composers, amazing and beautiful songs that have crossed borders, you know, in the world and uh, that have, you know, that have been translated in many idioms and languages and everything. So, uh, so what I did is that uh, every, there are like, I, I choose uh, two, uh, two songs of, you know, of one composer. So we like, uh, and uh, so I, I, I ended up with 10 tracks and I, what I did is every track, all, all uh, each track is a mash of two songs. That's why I performed like half of the song of Paloma Negra and half of Kurukurukuku because I wanted to fit as much as I could, you know, like in the album. So it was really, really hard for me. And uh, so, um, I put these uh, beautiful emblematic songs. Uh, there are like 20 songs in 10 tracks. And, but I say 14 composers and not 10 because many of these songs, they were like uh, co you know, co uh, uh, composed, you know. Sometimes like Agustin Lara, for example, uh, uh, he composed with, uh, with his sister, with uh, uh, Maria Teresa Lara. So like, so that's why I, I I always say like it's a tribute to 14 composers, no 10 composers. But like there are like some tracks which is like, for example, Roberto Cantoral has like, uh, that I'm gonna sing later. Uh, it has like two songs and he was a lyricist and he was a, the musician. He, he did the, the lyrics and the music of the song. But sometimes uh, the composers, the, the music, you know, the musicians, they were working with the lyricists, you know, like different, you know. Where, where did you record the album? Uh, here in Monterey, uh, with uh, Neto Gracia, it's mm -hmm. uh, it's a great, uh, um, very very little but very intimate and amazing amazing studio. And you know that um, the most important thing in a studio is just to feel comfortable and to have like uh, confidence in uh, in the engineer and the producer. He he actually he's a producer of the album, and uh, and he's a he's a master. He has uh, the great. Uh, equipment, equipment, and the microphone there, the vibe is fantastic. So, uh, the the musical arrangements is by Enrique de, Enrique de la Torre. He he went to Berkeley, and uh, he's from Monterrey too. But I loved uh, his arrangement arrangements because he um, he studied uh, soundtrack and and uh, you know orchestration, composing thing. You know, so the orchestrations. Uh, and the arrangements of the of the Mexico al Mundo is very like cinematic. That's what I really loved it, you know, because this is pop, but with orchestration and like a high level pop, you know, like uh, and it has a, is a sense of the Mexicanity, you know, as, a, as at the same time, sure. uh, because not all the music is folkloric. We have boleros, we have uh, like classical music, we have like son sones, you know, like uh, we have. Uh, uh, a lot of rhythms, you know, like uh, in different part of the state of the country in the states, uh, they have a lot of influence from the Latin America and Cuban See. music, and like so. Uh, our music is very rich, and in the and uh, that's why the album is very eclectic in that way, you know. Me encanta tu música. Gracias. Eh, por favor, tu uh, sing an, an otra canción, por favor. Bueno, because I know that a lot of people. Uh, uh, watching this quarantine series and uh, concert, uh, they speak English and many of them, they, they don't speak Spanish. Uh, and, and too, because in, in, in LA, they, uh, I have a lot of uh, followers and, uh, and uh, the Mexican-Americans, sometimes they don't, uh, they understand they don't speak Spanish uh, because they were born here. And uh, so I'm gonna sing this tune from the last album, just one one track of the last album before Mexico al Mundo, is called uh, "Unexpected Song." It's a musical theater song. Is I'm gonna sing it in English, and it's a beautiful song from a musical "Song and Dance" by Andrew Lloyd Webber and Don Black, and and this song uh, it was 
uh, famous uh, uh, with uh, on uh, Bernadette Peters and Sarah Brightman, you know. And so um, it's from the musical Song and Dance. So I'm pretty sure that the musical theater geeks they're gonna they're gonna know Why about not? this song. It's very was. popular. There you go. <clears throat> I have never felt like this For once I'm lost for words Your smile has really thrown me This is not like me at all I never thought I'd know The kind of love you've shown me Now, no matter where I am no matter what I do, I see your face appearing Like an unexpected song An unexpected song That only we are hearing I don't know what's going on Can't work it out at all Whatever made you choose me I just can't believe my eyes You look at me as though You couldn't bear to lose me Now, no matter where I am No matter what I do I see your face appearing Like an unexpected song An unexpected song That only we are hearing I have never felt like this For once I lost for worse Your smile has really thrown me this is not like me at all I never thought I know The kind of love you've shown me Now, no matter where I am No matter what I do I see your face appearing Like an unexpected song An unexpected song That only we are hearing Like an unexpected song An unexpected song That only we are hearing There you go. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Just a really, really moving. It's been a long time. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, all my friends, uh, my musical theater friends in New York, we're sending a lot of love to New York. This, this song was for all the musical theater performers. Yay! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, you spent some time in New York. You spent some time in New York. Ah, oh, right? yes. 15 years, Kabir. 15, you know? Well, back and forth. I, it wasn't all, you know, all of these years together. First, I, I moved because I studied uh, at AMDA, the musical theater, the, mu the American say. musical, uh, the music, <laughs> the American Musical and Dramatic Academy of New York and LA. What happened to me? Uh, and uh, yes, I graduated from the integrated studio. And then I, I was there uh, working at the admissions department. And, uh, and then I stayed there for a long time. And then I came back to Monterey. Then I came back and then I came back. You know, back and forth. So I have a lot of, 
I have a family there in New York. You know, I have friends. I have teachers. I have a... Uh, uh, I have a lot of uh, friends from here, from Monterey and Mexico, and, and Mexico City and, well, in the country, living in New York. You know that we share uh, a very friend in common, Sonia, which uh, we send them um, kisses and love, everything, uh, which was uh, nominated, you, uh, you Latin Grammy winner, multi-winner. Uh, and uh, I really, uh, you know, for, for me, part of my heart and my life it's in New York. I always come back. I, once a New Yorker, always a New Yorker, right? Yes. Si, <laughs> so it's si, like, si. yeah. And so, uh, so this song is very special because uh, even it's sang by by a woman in a musical theater. That's 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 a tribute that I did in in, in that album produced by Jaime, Jaime Lozano. Uh, it's all the women songs, you know, sang by me. And uh, and this unexpected song, you know. Uh, it's a musical theater song, very popular, and we're sending that song to the musical theater performers, which are now in kind of uh, lockdown too. And uh, we know that West End and the musical theater in, on Broadway, in Mexico City, and in all over the world, you know, like in in Spain, like uh, the the musical theater in Amsterdam, in Germany. I mean, in France. I mean, there. I mean, in Asia, there's musical theater all over. But, um, you know, the performers, uh, we are just singing, you know, like, uh, and we are yeah. so, so desperate to come back to the stage yeah, yeah. <laughs> for all of you. Well, Hal in Honolulu has a question for you. He wants to know, how do you take care of your voice on a daily basis? Uh, well, I have to say that um, when I'm going to sing, I vocalize, you know, in the shower, very, very soft. Uh, and that helps. It's it's not because just the shower and I I love to sing in the shower, but because of you know the the steaming you know the steam is really really good for you and just to moisturize and everything. So it's really really good to vocalize and just to get the steam of the you know the the water steam uh, on the shower. Uh, and I try not to talk too much and not to sing too much. Uh, more, most of the, of the time in the morning, I try not to talk at all. Uh, sing as, you know, just like very, very, very little. Because once that you have uh, your, your songs and the concert gone and everything, you have to take care of your voice. And uh, I know that a lot of singers know that uh, when you're very tired of your, of your voice, the only thing that can help you the most is just to sleep and to rest so nothing there's nothing so much better than sleeping and resting so for me if, if because i'm i cannot be you know like sleeping all the time <laughs> uh i just don't try not to talk you know and i that's really really good and uh of course uh the to have like a chamomile tea is really good uh I, I, I put like a little bit of uh, like a candy just to have a candy just to have the saliva which is really good to have it moisturized but not abuse of the water because if you drink a lot of water what is going to happen is you is you're going to dehydrate yourself first and uh, and you're going to get rid of the mucosa in the you know here so we, that's precious precious for us so you, your body has to be moisturized but you have you don't have to drink like seven liters of water because otherwise it's gonna it's gonna be the opposite you're gonna you know go to the bathroom a lot you know and dehydrate and then your mucosa your mucosa and your all the things that you have here that is gonna soft your voice is gonna be gone and yeah. that's horrible so it's no no you need that there got so. it we'll have to do a <laughs> single to, together called bruno sangar sin agua ah I, uh, the other song no so we'll have to create a new song called sin agua Ah, Sinagua. Next, it's true. Yeah, for your, Sinagua. Next, your next single, Sinagua. Be yes, more because you know what? Sometimes the singers, they we listen something and uh, but we don't we don't hear it specifically and we 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 take that as an advice, but we don't we don't have we don't know how to control it and how much is much, you know, how much is oh drink water, yes, yeah, sure, sure. It's like yes, but not too much, you know, it's just like yeah. just a little bit. And and never drink too much water before a concert because that mucosa is going to leave and you Got need it. that. So the water is three hours before the show just to get your body 
hydrate, you know? And once that you have the show, the only thing that you're gonna have is just, just a little sip. No tequila. Well, no, right, it doesn't right, work right. for me. You know, a lot of Mexican singers, yeah. they drink tequila because it warms. It doesn't work for me. But yeah, uh, yeah. just... <laughs> exactly. You hear that, Camilo? Only a little a little mezcal. That's the production team, Camilo and Sandra. Have a bottle of mezcal with a little bit left in there. I Only know. Little... Yeah. Uh, well, an... if you're used to it, it works. <laughs> exactly. Uh, un otro canción, por favor. Sí. Uh, this song... It's a, it's a beautiful mash of uh, uh, by Roberto Cantoral. These two songs, one uh, is uh, Al Final, and the other one is called El Triste, the sad, <laughs> the sad man, and uh, very popular because uh, Al Final was sung by Emmanuel, and El Triste was sung by Jose Jose, who just uh, uh, died uh, last year. So it's uh, uh, beautiful songs that both. Uh, were very uh, popular with the uh, OTI, the in, the international festival singing OTI, when it was uh, when we had OTI here in Mexico. So let's go, let's do it. <clears throat> Al final. Me dejas solo, desangrando de llorar. Sin primaveras en mis manos para dar. La vida se me va con tu querer. Al final me cubres todo de angustiosa soledad. Porque presagio que jamás regresarás Y yo sin tu mirar, ¿qué voy a hacer? Sabes bien que tú me motivaste para amar Que yo inventé de ti La intimidad cuando te provocaba ser mujer. Y ya ves que aun siendo de tu noche el trovador, le niegas a mi noche la ilusión. De ver un nuevo día amanecer. Donde estés, solo te pido que no vayas a olvidar que por amarte como un Cristo me quedé con los brazos abiertos. Al final, el triste, todos dicen que soy, que siempre estoy hablando de ti. No saben que pensando en tu amor, en tu amor, he podido ayudarme a vivir. He podido ayudarme a vivir. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Saborear mi dolor, no pido compasión y piedad. La historia de este amor se escribió. 
para la eternidad. El triste, todos dicen que soy, que siempre estoy hablando de ti. No saben que pensando en tu amor, en tu amor, he podido ayudarme a vivir, he podido ayudarme a vivir, he podido ayudarme a vivir. So good. Yes. Like power, oh my power God, vocals. My belly button is just like in the floor. Muy fuerte. Sí, esta canción es very hard. It's muy difícil. In, in, and it's harder just to do it here. Sí. sí. Entiendo. <laughs> I survived, Kabir. I survived. <laughs> You're... Somos survivors. <laughs> Somos sobrevivientes. <laughs> ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se llama uh, uh, survivors en español? Sobrevivientes. Sobrevivientes. It's very hard. It's, it's a very long. Uh, Sobrevivientes. Word. Sobrevivientes. Yes. All right. I won't be saying that anytime soon. Uh, <laughs> no, that's a, that's great. What a powerful vocals. It was like reverberating in my in my body. I can feel that. I can feel that. In my, I can feel like when you sing, you're singing from your bones. It's like you're feeling it deep. You know. Yes, and and, and it's funny because um, when you are seated, uh, I can I can feel my. You know my my everything. You know my my all my thoracic everything. You know, like I, I can I can feel it because everything is just like here. You know, uh, and it, this this song is is really hard. There are like certain songs in the in the album which are really really hard and uh, require just a specific. <laughs> what I I always say is like uh, it's really tricky where you put it in the concert. Because if I put this song in the beginning of a concert, I can die. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you have to, to be very careful to put like certain songs in certain moments of, uh, of the concert. And now it was kind of hard because by now I've sang like three songs and then this. You know, this song in the concert just to be like the number vocal is just like there your energy the your endorphins and everything is just <laughs> that helps you just to perform but uh but you know what uh we have the microphone here and it's the session you know like uh which yeah, uh, yeah. we can deal with it but uh it's a powerful song it's a beautiful song and uh that el triste made jose uh jose jose's career you know you have to we have uh we have to think about that you know and and, and it's, it was amazing the prince of you know of the of the songs is it was called like that his title the prince of the songs and uh, and this so specific song made his career the yeah. beginning of his career so it's, it's powerful it has a lot of energy in it well all I have to say is eres un sobreviviente sobreviviente de el triste and de al final <laughs> exactly. so you have you have two more numbers right or how many numbers yes. do you have left? I want to make sure we get them both in so maybe you can go right into the next one there you go this uh, uh this is a beautiful track from uh, the Maestro Armando Manzanero. Some boleros, some calm, beautiful. There you go. Uh, es por debajo de la mesa and dime. <clears throat> there you go. Por debajo de la mesa acaricio tu rodilla y bebo sorbo a sorbo tu mirada angelical y respiro de tu boca esa flor de maravilla las alondras del deseo cantan, vuelan, vienen 
van y me muero por llevarte al rincón de mi guarida en donde escondo un beso con matiz de una ilusión se nos va acabando el trago sin saber qué es lo que hago si contengo mis instintos o jamás te dejo ir y es que no sabes lo que tú me haces sentir si tú pudieras un minuto estar en mí tal vez te fundirías en esta hoguera de mi sangre y vivirías aquí y yo abrazado a ti y es que no sabes lo que tú me haces sentir que no hay momento que yo pueda estar sin ti me absorbes el espacio y despacio me haces tuyo muere el orgullo en mí y es que no puedo estar sin ti Y ahora dime, bellísima canción, un saludo a Aranza, mi amiga Aranza, su canción. Vamos, vamos, vamos. No crean porque estoy, estoy con una pista, ¿eh? Y tiene un, cuando lo descarguen y lo vean en YouTube, it's a beautiful orchestration, it's a beautiful arrangement, piano arrangement. <coughs> Dime qué es lo que está pasando, si en algo te he fallado, si fue la primavera lo que se me ha escapado. ¿Acaso en estos brazos no te has acomodado? No encuentro la razón del por qué. Me ha suplantado, es que sepultaste nuestro amor. Dime si soy el responsable del tiempo transcurrido. No tengo el pecho erguido, ya no estoy tan deseable. Tal vez no he procurado hacer cosas extrañas, tenderte algunas mañas, pero en ningún momento he dejado de adorarte. Dime qué es lo que está pasando. Si en algo te he fallado O si es que te olvidaste Que yo fui aquella flor Que en muchas primaveras Tanta vida te dio Yeah, awesome, awesome, ah. so good. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah, you, you don't know how much I enjoy this, this tune. Oh my God, Armando Manzanero, teacher. Uh, he's a genius. He's a yeah. genius, and he's one of the few composers of the entire album, which is alive. The 14 composers, there are just two composers alive, mm. which is uh, uh, Armando Manzanero and... Um, I'm gonna tell you later the other one because I just forget. Okay. Okay. We should send him the send him the record. Ruben Fuente. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I I, I did already. And? He listened this uh, arrangement. Actually, Aranza, which is uh, the the singer that um, Armando Manzanero composed this song for her, for the theme of a telenovela here in Mexico. So she was very famous with this uh, with with this song, Dime, the last one, and uh, I and she's a very friend of mine. 
I and actually this is a tribute to her as well. So I uh, I sent her the the album and she loved the you know the the arrangement and she loved the song because it's very very calm. It's it's a beautiful it's a beautiful arrangement. You know uh, you have to listen it on, on YouTube. Follow me in my YouTube channel and in my Facebook. Uh, Bruno yeah, Sangar. check out check out BrunoSangar dot com. Also check him out on Facebook, uh, YouTube. Subscribe, buy the music, check out the new album. Uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, vocal singer, as you know, artiste. Um, also make sure that make sure you subscribe on Spotify. It's important, so you always get notified on his new music. And I've got to quote my man Juan Carlos. Otra, 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 otra. Juan otra, Carlos. Otra, otra. This is a surprise for all of you. Because I love you, and uh, and uh, and I have to say that I, you know, this is this is oh, the oh, the tra. last song of the album, you know, and I close the concert and I close the album and close everything with this amazing, amazing um, mash of two songs, beautiful songs by Juan Gabriel. Who doesn't know Juan Gabriel? Has to be there, you know. It's 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 like a it's 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 a great Mexican composer. It's you know like um, for the world, you know. Uh, so these uh, these are two songs, you know. Them. Vamos. It's ya lo sé que tú te vas y hasta que te conocí. Oh my God! There you go. Para todos ustedes. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> Ya lo sé que tú te vas, que quizás no volverás, que muy tristes hoy serán. Mis mañanas, si te vas, ¿hasta cuándo volverás? A mis brazos no lo sé. Será una eternidad. Creo que te voy a perder. Ya lo sé, mi amor. Que te vas, te vas. Que ha llegado la hora de decirnos adiós. Te deseo buena suerte. Hasta nunca, mi amor. Adiós, amor. Adiós, amor. Adiós, amor. Adiós, amor. Hey. Hasta que te conocí, vi la vida con dolor, no te miento, fui feliz, aunque con muy poco amor, y muy tarde comprendí que no te debía amar. Porque ahora pienso en ti más que ayer, mucho más. Yo jamás sufrí, yo jamás lloré, yo era muy feliz, pero te encontré. <laughs> y ahora viene la coda, de coda. Ay, soledad. Ay, soledad. Ay, soledad. No. Eso, 
I stop. <laughs> awesome. A cappella awesome. is kind of weird because I'm just like awesome. dancing by myself here. But I just wanted to let you know that here, you know, I have all the music. So it's like so my, I. I have the party. La mente. I, and, and the mente. So I have the party all over, you know. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Kabir. Thank you. Thank you, world. Mexico, Monterrey, New York, London, uh, Madrid, Acropolis, and all the places in the world, you know. Thank you, Mars. Thank you, uh, all the planets, intergalactics. Thank you, and the entire um, Milky Way. And I want to bow. Woo! Yeah. His pantalones. My pantalones. Look. Pantalones de marinos. Well, actually, I don't have socks. Look. <laughs> and here, Bravo. With, with my tree, you know, for the for the environment, because we believe in uh, in uh, you know, like uh, in el cambio climático. Oh, there you go, there you go. So this is for for um just to save our planet. You know our planet. We um we don't want our trees like this. You know we want them with with leaves and green. We don't want you know the trees like this. So we have to save our planet. You know too. Okay. So just for you to know. Oh, there you go. Put. There you go. Okay. Okay. I don't have. I don't have uh, the other tree. Bravo. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us, my friend. I look forward to the time we can uh, break bread together in person. And uh, I want to thank you for coming on the Quarantine thank you. Concert Series. You're always welcome here. Good luck with the new album. And good luck with getting it out into the world. And stay safe, my friend. Thank you so much, Kabir. And send you hugs. With no yes. COVID. <laughs> Brazos. I also Brazos. Give a, yeah, I want to give a special thanks to the sound and tech team who are yes. amazing, muy excelentes. The Thank you so great much. team, yes, Sandra and Camilo. Just check out their website, soundworksrecording.com. If you mention one of their two dogs, Maui or Oreo, they will give you a discount on their services. So if you're an artist out there and they need any, any audio services, check out their website. They will get you hooked up. All right, we're back 10 p.m. tonight uh, with um, Benny Benak III, and uh, we'll be back 10 p.m. Eastern every single night until the cows come home, which is exactly where you need to be right now, back at home. Have a good day, good afternoon, happy napping. See you tonight. Stay safe. God bless.